You know, I cut on here and I thought about any number of jokes that I could say at the beginning of the video about the name of this company. But I can't joke about this company, and you know why? Because the stuff they make is so, so good. It really is. I'm gonna review the TACSAC 11 from Nutsack. Let me tell you something, they may have a funny name, but they make really good, high quality stuff. Let's take a look. If you love knives, flashlights, bags, pouches, all EDC gear and everything in between, make sure you're subscribed because why not? It costs you nothing and it really helps us out. And don't forget to make the algorithm happy by hitting that like button as well. We appreciate it in advance. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, as was stated before, this is the Nutsack, Tack Sack 11. We'll be talking about it first, but I do have a special bonus for you. They provided the admin pouch, and this is in the same black wax canvas material with Molly all over it. We'll talk about that next. But I just do want to talk about the Tack Sack 11 here. And this is, of course, waxed canvas material. It feels incredibly premium. You've got leather accents right here all of this is real um, you've got metal hardware here ykk zippers with um, leather little pulls right here that they've added to those zippers as well they've got a double zipper system to where you can actually the two zippers let me let me go ahead and show you the back before we do that the back has a wonderful carry handle here as you can see a great i actually like carrying this by the handle uh, just itself. Now there is there is a strap included and it has some really nice leather accents on it as well. It's a good little padded strap but it's not over engineered and it's got some really good uh, hooks on it as well. Really stout uh, as you can see but I don't tend to use the shoulder strap much. You might be a shoulder strap person. You might be a shoulder strap person but I'm not. This is where those would clip into but you can also clip in uh, some other things that you would want to here. You've got some molly webbing right in the in, inside of here and this is really heavy duty molly webbing and you can fit something right back here. Um, you could probably fit a small iPad, uh, a notebook, any kind of papers that you need to put back here. It's a cool cool little thing. They do make the 13 and 15 inch versions of these. Uh, and again, this is the 11 inch version. So this is a smaller bag, but it's perfect because this is my portable setup. This is my ultra portable setup. And I'll tell you about what's inside here in a minute. You've got the branding here. It's also in leather stamped right here with the nutsack branding. You've got a nice leather bottom here. You can see I've kind of used it over the last month or two patina pretty pretty well i love the feel of this it sits up very nicely um, it sits up pretty good i've got this thing loaded it's pretty heavy and it just sits up very nicely on a table or on the ground it's not going to tip over uh, incredibly easily very very nice so to get into it you've got two magnetic things right here so if i do this they go back There we go. And really good magnets here, but that means that you can use it without having to use this little stub here. So if I pull this out, it's just easy to pull open and then push back down if I want to. I can tuck this in if I wanted to. Or I think this is fantastic. So opening it up right here, you've got a front pocket that does, if you load up the center, in the center part right here, it does become a little cramped in here, but you've still got enough room, as you can see, to put something in here if you wish. But again, YKK zipper on the front. Then you've got a pair of double zippers. Now I don't know what the technical term is for this, but you've got, I like to zip stuff up to the top here. You can open it like that. But if you needed to charge uh, a device that was inside of here and you wanted to leave it in your bag, well you could open up the side here just to open that up and you can actually, there's two zippers on each side. You can open up each side and put a charging cable in there as well. Very convenient. So opening up the bag, 
and it does have like a three quarter zip. What you've got on the interior here is a surprising amount of room. So I've got an iPad, 11 inch iPad, and that's the one of the pro models. And so if I go ahead and pull it out, this is actually with the keyboard case. So I'm just gonna show you exactly what it is. It's the, it's the 11 inch iPad with a keyboard case and it fits very, very nicely in there. This is, this is made for the 11 inch iPad. And so it's gonna be very, as you can see the size, it fits it almost perfectly. It's gonna fit any kind of 11 inch um, tablet as well, as long as it's you know 11 inches diagonal. I've got a pretty big Bible in here. This is a, th this is a thick Bible. And uh, I'm not doing that to show off or anything. I'm just doing that to show you that you can stuff a lot of different things in here. You can put a number of different books. You can put a pouch. You can put all sorts of different things. You can tuck in knives, however you want. I've got two notebooks tucked in here to the large front pockets that are on the front part. So I've got two, I say large notebooks. They're field notes size they're field note size notebooks. This is the Bellroy cover on those. And so these are Bellroy size uh, notebooks and I keep my notebooks here. You can actually put two of each into each uh, pocket. So that's really cool. And of course I've got the iPad, but on the back you see here, you've got Molly webbing and you can config, I'm gonna pull this over right here so you can see it a little bit better. You can configure this however you would like to. If you want to carry a larger knife, I've got the Kubi Master Chief right here. That's a that's a pretty large knife. And uh, maybe you don't want to carry that on your person. Well, you can actually just attach it in here to any of the Molly webbing. If it's a small enough, you can put it inside the Molly webbing. You can put all sorts of pins down through here. I've got a couple of pins that I've went over before in previous videos. Got something new I'm trying out here from Ant Design. This is the E1, and it's just an EDC tool. It's got this little cool, I'll do a full review of this later, but it's got a cool little pop-out thing right here to where it keeps a bit inside of it. And it's an EDC pry tool, bottle opener, um, file, ruler, little four inch ruler right here on the ends. Really cool, but you can just have something like that and just tuck it in right here and it stays in place because of that molly webbing on the inside. And you've got three rows of it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots across. You could probably fill those up. I have opted not to, obviously. But this bag is just durable. It's wonderful. It's got this light brown interior, full grain leather accents on it. So these are all gonna be, the pulls are gonna be leather. This is leather. The branding is leather. The bottom is gonna be full grain leather. This is water resistant wax canvas. Uh, so that's very important to understand. You're gonna have 11 inches by about seven and a half inches tall here, and then about three inches wide. That three inches, it's probably more like four inches, honestly, because it is just a big stout bag. You can stuff this thing full of stuff. I have been loving this bag. Let's go ahead and put something else. Let's go put a hard drive in here. In fact, I could probably fit, check this out. I could probably fit the admin pouch. Yeah, if I took the little straps on the back of the admin pouch here, and I keep calling it the admin pouch, I hope it's the admin pouch. But if I took that off, I could probably fit my portable toolkit in here as well. So we'll go over that next. But this is the TaxSack 11. They offer a 30 minute, a 30 day money back guarantee, a lifetime guarantee on the workmanship and materials. You cannot ask for a better quality bag than what Nutsack makes. If you've owned a Nutsack bag, sound off in the comments and talk about the quality. I was very, very happy to get in touch. I believe it was with Matt uh, several months ago who sent this to me uh, and I have just enjoyed it. This is the perfect work from home. See the magnets right there attached to the magnet. This is the perfect work from a coffee shop, work from a mobile workspace bag, and it's perfect. Uh, if you want something bigger, they offer the three, uh, excuse me, the 13 inch version as well, as well as the 15 inch version. And of course it does come with that nice shoulder strap as well. Go check this out, nutsack.com. The link will be in the description. This is the black version. They're also available in tan, if that's more your vibe. These run for, and again, not, not cheap, 169 bucks. But at the same time, you can get these and uh, they're readily available. You can use this for a variety of different things and they're offering this as part of the kind of their mod 
uh, system as well, which let's talk about the pouch that I've got next from them. Okay, so I was calling it the right thing. This is the double admin pouch and they sell these modular things that come with it. And this is like my mobile tool bag. So whenever I'm on campus here, you've got Molly all across the back. You've got specialized straps, uh, Molly attachment things that come with this. Usually I don't keep these on, but I kept them on for the sake of the video. They've even got a, a nutsack branding on the button there. But usually these, this is just the coolest little pouch and I can just take this thing and throw it in the car, go around campus. You've got the same full grain leather zipper pulls, YKK zippers. It is smooth zippers, let me tell you, smooth zippers. And I've packed this thing with some of my mobile tools and, and, I'm, and I'm telling you, I use this every day. I use this every day here on campus because it's got a number of things that I need and I can stop for lunch if I need to and I can make notes if I need to and I'm opening computers, I'm fixing servers, I'm, I'm you know, rewiring classroom equipment, all sorts of different things. And so let's go over what I've got in here. First of all, I've got an entire iPad mini here. This is the, forget what kind of case this is, but this is a, an iPad mini. I'm not gonna go really go over that, but it fits this pack. Uh, fits an iPad mini uh, and it will absolutely do all that stuff and I love this black wax canvas it's a uh, phenomenal here so you've got the two main pouches you've got elastic molly webbing on the inside so this is not your fabric molly webbing like is on the back of the tack sack here so these these ones right here are like more like uh, stitched and a lot tougher I would say this is more like spandex um, webbing right here, elastic webbing, which is good, which is really good because that's what I need in this bag as well. But very simply, I've got an anchor power bank that I always use. This is a magnetic power bank and all the links will be in the description for these things if you wanna go check these out as well. But make sure you check out the nutsack bags for sure. I've got a um, USB-C cable because everything I have is USB-C, including my iPhone 15 and I've got an Anchor Nano Charger. These are the best little chargers to have, especially when you're on the go because you can plug them in anywhere and they give you about 30 watts of charging. And 30 watts is really good for charging up smaller devices like an iPad mini or a phone. And you can even, in a pinch, you can even very slowly charge your laptop if you needed to. And it's cool, you got these two big sides right here. Of course, you got Molly webbing on the top, you got Molly webbing on this side. And that way you can configure it however you want. So the way that I've configured it here, I've got a little notebook that I make notes in. This is just like a, a Moleskine notebook, Moleskine, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know how it's pronounced, but I just write down stuff in there. I could probably put a field notes notebook in here without the Bellroy cover and it would be just fine. I've got me a pen and usually I usually have a pen with me, but this is the special edition tactile turn that's from the last special edition it's their mini side click again you don't have to have an expensive pen this is a st stupid expensive pen but you can put any pen any size that you wanted to down through here as well you're probably familiar with this uh, pry tool i love this this is the tnp um, titanium pry tool and you've got a number of different things on here belt clip you've got of course a pry bar and i have used this believe it or not i've used this pry bar quite a bit in the things that I do, prying off panels, prying off different things, scraping different things as well. And I've got a little wear and tear on this, but the TMP pry bar, very good little tool. Okay, so this is my JW knife and tool uh, bit driver. And I've got a set of bits here that I got off of Amazon that is Tecton brand. And so I've got the, the ones that I need primarily here for opening up uh, different computers and servers and whatnot, your P1, P2 bits, as well as some of these that I've replaced with T, Torx bits, Torx um, 9, Torx 8, T7, 8, and 9 bits. And I use those, I'm able to attach these very simply magnetically, and then I can drive whatever or take apart whatever I need to. You got a light, nice fidget factor on here. Again, you don't have to have a driver as fancy as this. Some of these bit systems will work with any kind of cheap bit driver that you can get at Lowe's and I'll have some alternates down on the uh, in the description some alternate links of ones that I've used before and this is just a really cool kind of a, got that pineapple um, that pineapple pattern there for the grip but it's a cool ball bearing um, driver 
really neat to have. And again, they make these in a number of different things. And I got me a Tecton bit set. I think this thing was maybe 14 bucks, but I like the fact that it keeps these things in a nice tidy package here so I can see exactly what I need to get. And they come out easily. I don't have to like pull them out if they were in like a silicone thing or whatever. And so that works really, really well for me. And the last thing that I've got in here is a flashlight. And you would not believe how much I use a flashlight. This is the Phoenix EO9R. I got this at Blade Show. I have loved this light and you guessed it. It charges via USB-C. So you cannot go wrong when you've got all the USB-C things. You charge your when your flashlights and when your other electronics charge via USB-C too. You can't lose. I love this light. It's got um, this one little copper switch on the outside and it's got a couple of different brightness levels. It gets super bright for my needs. It's nice, it's compact. The only thing I'd change about this is the belt. I wish there was a clip on it so I could clip it instead of just putting it in my pocket sometimes, but normally it's in this kit and it just stays right here. And again, I use this on campus every day. It's got my iPad mini inside of it so I can do diagnostic things. I can also put a number of different things in here. I can put knives, I can put uh, an assortment of pry bars, I can find other drivers. I can even put screwdrivers, specialized screwdrivers in here if I need to. These little two little bags from Nutsack are just fantastic bags. You should absolutely give them a shout. Take a look at what they've got to offer. If you have never pulled the trigger on a Nutsack bag before, I'm telling you, these are the these are the best looking, toughest bags. Normally I'm not a messenger bag design type person, but I think I am now. Thank you so much to Nutsack for providing these for me to review. Uh, these are, this is one of those times where I got something to review and I ended up using it. And if I lost this bag, I would buy another one tomorrow because that's how much I use these things. So portable setup, ultra portable setup, uh, for going around campus, really cool stuff. Give them a shout out. Thank you to Nutsack and thank you for subscribing and liking the video. That really helps us out. Our channel is about to hit 10,000 subscribers. Goodness gracious guys. I can't believe it. Thank you so much for all the support and we'll see you in the next video.